Your brain is the most powerful tool you own, but are you making it stronger? Every day is a chance to sharpen your edge, build new connections, and unlock your potential. Don't just live, evolve. My name is Professor Alex Horniak, and this is Ace Med Minutes. Train your brain. Imagine waiting for a bus. Not too long ago, you might have looked at the people around you, watched the cars go by, or just let your mind wander. But today, a different scene is way more common. In those few spare minutes, your hand instinctively reaches for your phone, your thumb finds a familiar icon, and suddenly, you're immersed in a world of quick, captivating videos. One video of a dancing cat, a 10-second cooking hack, a clip from a popular movie, a personal story. The bus arrives, but you barely notice, swiping up for just one more video before you have to look up. This is the reality for millions. Every quiet moment is an opportunity to dive into an endless stream of digital content. This habit isn't just about passing the time. It's become as automatic as brushing our teeth or making coffee. We scroll while eating breakfast, during commercial breaks, in bed before sleep. When people talk about TikTok brain, they aren't referring to a formal medical diagnosis. You won't find it listed in any medical textbook. Instead, it's a popular term used to describe a set of observed changes in our cognitive habits, particularly our ability to focus. In simple terms, TikTok brain is the idea that our brains are becoming rewired to prefer and expect rapid, short bursts of stimulation. After spending hours on an app that delivers new content every 15 to 60 seconds, our brains start to adapt. They become accustomed to this high speed of information delivery, making it harder to engage with activities that are slower and require sustained concentration. Think of your brain's attention as a muscle. If you only ever do very short, quick sprints, you'll get very good at sprinting. However, you might find it difficult to run a long distance marathon. Similarly, when your brain is constantly fed a diet of quick bite-sized videos, it gets really good at processing that kind of content. The downside is that it can become impatient with longer, more complex tasks. Reading a chapter of a book, listening to a long lecture, watching a full-length movie, your brain, now accustomed to getting a new hit of information every few seconds, struggles to stay engaged when the reward is delayed. This happens because our brains are incredibly adaptive. The principle is called neuroplasticity, which means our brain's structure and function can change based on our experiences. The core of TikTok's impact on our brain lies in how it interacts with our attention systems. Our attention is not limitless. We have a finite amount of it to spend each day. Short form video platforms like TikTok are masters at capturing it. Each short video acts as a mini stimulus, delivering a quick hit of emotion. Laughter, surprise, curiosity in just a few seconds. This rapid fire delivery trains our brains to switch focus constantly. We watch a video, process it, and immediately move on to the next one, often unrelated. This constant task switching is mentally taxing and can degrade our ability to maintain directed attention. This effect is amplified by the brain's reward system specifically a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Dopamine is often called the feel-good chemical, but it's more accurately associated with seeking and motivation. When you scroll through TikTok, the unpredictability of what video comes next creates a variable reward schedule, similar to a slot machine. You never know if the next video will be hilarious, fascinating, boring. This uncertainty keeps the dopamine system activated, encouraging you to keep scrolling in anticipation of the next great video. This creates a powerful feedback loop. Scrolling releases dopamine, which makes you feel good, which makes you want to scroll more. The cognitive changes associated with TikTok brain are not confined to the moments we are on our phones. They spill over into every aspect of our lives. Creating friction in school, creating friction at work, creating friction in our closest relationships. For students, the impact is stark. Classrooms demand sustained attention. Listening to a teacher explain a complex concept, reading a dense textbook, working through a multi-step math problem. A TikTok conditioned brain may struggle in that setting. In the professional world, similar challenges arise. Many jobs need uninterrupted concentration. Programmer writing code, 
accountant analyzing a spreadsheet, writer drafting an article, focus equals productivity and success. Hard to reach a state of flow if you're wired for distraction. These habits can erode social relationships. Friendships are built on shared experiences. Friendships are built on meaningful conversations. Many psychologists and neuroscientists have weighed in on this phenomenon, confirming that the design of platforms like TikTok is intentionally captivating. As I explored in my upcoming book, these technologies are engineered to be as engaging as possible, often using principles borrowed from the gambling industry. The variable reward schedule is a key component. Dr. Julie Albright has compared the TikTok feed to a dopamine slot machine. Each swipe is like pulling the lever. The brain gets a small jolt of pleasure from the anticipation. This makes the behavior reinforcing and for some, difficult to control. Research supports that excessive short-form use can alter brain function, especially in younger users whose brains are still developing. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for decision-making impulse control, focusing attention, it does not fully mature until our mid-twenties. Studies suggest constant overstimulation from short-form media can interfere with this region. The knowledge that our digital habits are reshaping our brains can feel overwhelming, but it's also empowering. It means we have the ability to make conscious choices to counteract these effects and cultivate a healthier relationship with technology. The goal isn't necessarily to quit TikTok entirely, but to use it on our own terms. One of the most effective strategies is to create intentional friction. Turn off notifications for social media apps. Move the icons off your home screen and into a folder, so you have to make a deliberate effort to open them. This small barrier can be enough to break the cycle of mindless, automatic checking that so often leads to losing an hour of your time. Another powerful technique is to schedule your social media use. For example, you could allow yourself 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening. Using a timer can be incredibly helpful. When the timer goes off, close the app, no matter what. This practice helps you regain a sense of control and transform social media from a constant presence into a planned activity. It also creates space in your day for boredom and mind wandering, which are crucial for creativity and problem solving. Stay safe out there and take care of yourself. Thanks for watching and never stop questioning what you know. Thank you for choosing AceMed to train your brain.